They are a clan um, of uh, uh, Goliath warriors. They lived on the Ice Rim Mountains up north in the snow. Uh, it was a powerful clan uh, led by um, uh, Neogath Iron Fist. Uh, Neogath, should I show them pictures? Uh, describe and show pictures, yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. So, what they know. All right. Yeah. So um, he w- he would he would know. He no, would know. Pictures, not really. They wouldn't have attracted much. They wouldn't know what they would. No, right. Fine. You can right. describe. Okay, okay, okay. So Neogath uh, uh, was uh, the chieftain of the clan uh, after his father, and he was very, very, very strong. Um, he wielded uh, a battle axe that was so heavy it was rumored that it's unwieldable and that no one can carry it. Neogath. Uh, Neogath. Neogath. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Oh, and uh, he, so he, he had a big giant axe and uh, it was told that when he would kill anybody, when he struck anybody down, the earth itself would shake. Now his captains and warriors wouldn't even dare wield it, okay, because they were afraid of shame and mockery if they had failed. And Goliath clans, Goliath are, are very uh, competitive, honorable. competitive, more than honorable, they're competitive by nature. So. It, what they achieve in life is very important. Right. Um, so this clan was very strong. They trekked the Ice Rim Mountain. They controlled the entire area. Everything was great. And uh, one day, uh, due to unknown reasons to people, um, the he was betrayed and killed by his own axe. Ooh. That's what people know. All right? Um, so I'm of that clan. So the world knew of the fact that the clan was so strong and was uh, uh, territorial, and then there was some internal conflict, and both him and his captains were killed. And then the clan kind of lost its what's him <coughs> status or status? Yeah, status. yeah like it's intimidating. Like so sorry. They used to be very great. Now they're like yeah, some people mm. up in the mountain. What's your full name actually? Uh, Volea Retir Viomethia. Now, uh, for a Goliath, their first n- <laughs> Veomathea is the, the clan, and uh, Red Tear is the nickname, and Vulea is the Blood first tier. name. Blood Tear. Yeah. So, Blood Tear. Yeah, yeah Blood Tear. It is Red Tear, actually. Yeah, but, it was, uh, it's yeah, but I'm changing it to Blood Tear. Oh. Blood Tear? Because that was what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Let it from now be known. Be known. It is Blood Tear. Blood Tear. What do you think? Red Tear. I'm going to leave what it What do out. I think? Blood Tear? Red Tear. Blood Tear. I like, I like blood tear. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, blood tear. Make it blood tear. Blood tear. Yeah. Red doesn't imply blood. Blood doesn't? Red doesn't imply blood. Yeah, just That's make true. it blood tear, whatever. Yeah, true. That was what it was originally was. Alright, perfect. All right. Okay. okay. So, okay. now, now uh, the name blood tear is known. That there's a person who's blood named tier. blood tear, not known Will what yeah. they are, who they are, and you can tell them what rumors <coughs> they know, I guess, because I don't know what rumors Okay, so you've heard know. rumors of this so-called blood tear. Mm. Um, there are several rumors, rumors that go around, but you two, the rumors that you've heard is blood tear was a wanderer who walked into a small village and was just normal wanderer traveling around, and then he, bu- this person bumped into a merchant in the, t- in the square. And this merchant was very insolent to this, to this blood tear. And as a consequence, blood tear massacred the entire square, all the merchants, and took the... It was like the chieftain, it's a small village, it was the chieftain, took the chieftain and paraded this chieftain around many different towns, not willing to kill him, until this chieftain started crying blood, begging this person to end his life. To which he did, and hence he was known as oh, it was known as Blood Tear. This is the rumor that you guys heard. What kind of check do I need to do to see if, given the description I have of this person, that she might be that person? Um, the, from the rumors, you haven't heard any description at all. All right. So, so you the name Blood Tear. Just the name. People shiver when they hear that name, mm-hmm. and they don't even try to delve deeper into what this is. In some rumors, but very small rumors, blood tear is a weapon. In other rumors, blood tear is a curse. But you guys can't really dumb that. All right. But you do know that her name is, her nickname is blood tear. So we've all heard the same story, basically. No. You've heard different rumors. You've heard a different story. Okay. Okay. 
but the clan story, I'm assuming everybody knows. Because okay. it's like a family thing, a clan thing. Okay. But they know that I'm of the clan, they don't know yeah. what my relationship is yeah. to that situation yes. in particular. And did I get anything from uh, Harvest during those uh, three days? Did you? Information wise. I don't know. Did you? No. Ask him. I don't know. Do you know that old man from the mansion? You had a weird reaction when you've seen him. Master Streplin. Yes. Yes. The I know. Choker. Him. Yeah. I met him a few recording? times when we were going. It's not recording, is it? No, it is. It's red. On what? Number one? Yes. Oh, it's not recording. It should be it should be LR. LR, yeah. LR, yeah. LR, yeah. LR, yeah. LR is recording? Yeah, it's recording. Oh, okay. It is. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. So, do you know that old man? Yes, he sent me on a mission earlier. Mm -hmm. Is that all? We've met, yes. That's it. Alright. Accent's getting weaker again. All right, just well, saying. guess on it, okay? Just saying. All right. Roll in the park. Roll in the park. Sir. So. So you guys are I'm traveling sorry. along. Okay. Um, the first day, you guys stop, made camp. The exact same spectacle that you saw when you first met Devastan is the exact same thing that happened again. People just drinking, dancing, playing games, roughing around in the dirt, people passing out, just having a jolly good time. I partake in these celebrations. You have partaken. All right. Now I am hungover. Not yet. Okay, I, I will be hungover. Yeah. No, I, no, I don't get uh, hungover. I'm going to lie. I will avoid, uh, what's his name? Uh, Stanimir. Okay. When I'm not disguised. All right. All right. Is anybody else drinking? I'm not. Nope. Do we have enough food? I'm just him most they have a us. shit ton of food. Okay, yes. then I'm partaking in the drinking. Alright, All right. drinking. Goliaths. So, uh, <laughs> the Goliaths are like... I look for him. I love right. him. Are you hiding in a tent or just sitting outside? Just alone reading my uh, book. Alright, then he's just in the plane open. So I find him? Yeah. Okay. With my mask. I approach him. Go for it. I'm with him. I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, these okay. guys are having a good We're time. drinking. Yeah. Oh, this but, is yeah, great! There go. Yes. <laughs> Do I see him approach? Yes. So, how is everything? It's good. Bila, I've been meaning to talk to you. Have you seen or noticed anything that's weird or different about these people? We've been with them for a day now. Have you noticed anything? I've been kind of close to Stanimir. Did I, should I roll to see if I noticed anything? Um, I tried to hang out with him, small talk. Is, is there some stuff I picked up? Did you ask him anything? Uh, not specifically, but about his travels in general. How was the prince? How is the kingdom? Well, you should have asked him then. I, I said I was talking to him through the travel. Yeah, but you, you didn't say what you're asking. You just said small talk. This is small talk. Like no, the small talk is like the weather is nice. No. Yeah. If you're asking something, ask him. Maybe he'll answer. Maybe he won't. Should I do it now and say now that you're engaged in a conversation God. with him? Okay. This is still day one. Uh, I'm trying. Um, uh, I'm trying to get close to. Stanimir, but now I didn't. Still now I didn't get anything interesting. Have you spoken to anyone else? I think they are too drunk to talk properly. Do you know who's trusted by Stanimir? Apparently, I don't know yet. Yeah, we just started traveling. You need to give me some time. Right. I'm with Caldo, and I noticed them chit chatting. Chit chatting. Rawful jealousy. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey Caldo, your friend and my friend are very suspicious and not a lot of fun. Yes, my friend he likes to talk and I think your friend is the same. My friend likes to suspect apparently. Mm. How oh. about we take some pictures and go to them and let them relax a little bit? Yes, why not? Of course, let's go. So we grab a bunch of pictures and we go to them. Alright, they approach you with a stein of ale each. How do you guys want to do? My friend, have a drink. Thank you. And then I would like to do st uh, How is it called? Uh, s uh, sleight of hand to try to empty the pitch and then uh, act like I'm drinking. Roll for sleight of hand. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> seven! Oh, plus it's not a one. Seven plus? Seven. No, I don't have dexterity, so uh, it's seven. Yeah, seven. And I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. You see him take it out from you, and you're like, 
and you, you try to do this, but you get a cramp in your heart, and and it just goes <laughs> right all over your face. On my mask. On your on your mask, and it goes, <laughs> and now you have an ale stained mask, which is kind of yellow. So you know, in the morning, it could. We we don't know. Yeah, I will just take it off. Take it off and clean it. Okay, go for it. Yeah, there you go. And she hands you a drink. I slam in front of his face. How about you take a break from all of your suspicions and just relax, man? I am out here to get knowledge about things that concern me. <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> getting <laughs> anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I will skewer them and I will barbecue them it's and I will serve them, them with ale. Oh, what is it? What is it? Tell me, tell me, what is it? You've been cranky sour pants for the last. This I mission don't know how was many. not supposed to be part of what I wanted to do. What? Now that I'm a part of it, I don't trust these people. I don't. Do you? All right, horned face, what do you want to do? It's not strength that matters. <laughs> On a battlefield, it does. They won't fight you. What will they do then? He fell under six gnomes. Who? You think you won't? Who fell? You think? Who fell under six gnomes? That never happened! Who fell? <laughs> <laughs> Who fell? Who <laughs> fell? What happened? What is this you keep speaking of? Shalulets! Shalulets! I assure you, I will not fall under gnomes or any other creature. I'm afraid you have said the same thing. I just walk away. You just walk away. Just wow, walk away. you're such an away. asshole. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not going to listen to Can you. Can I use uh, I have mage hand to try to make him trip? Hmm. We're friends, I say. Go for it. <laughs> I don't hate you. Or do I roll for it? But you're being reckless. Okay. It's a spell. Okay. <laughs> is it? It's not, it's not a... You don't roll for it, is it? Yeah. He's trying to trip you with Mage Hand. I want you to roll. What is, what is Obviously, mage, mage Hand is invisible. Oh, it's the hand that. Yeah, like, okay, why yeah. don't you read the Mage Hand spell for everybody? Oh, I don't, I don't have, have it. Okay, Wait, I, can I, I know what Mage Hand does. Hold on. I think it fine. can lift five pounds, so yeah. it's five pounds pressure. Yeah. No, I know it is a swap for the camera. Oh, uh, sure. M, I'm an M, okay. Awesome. Major. Mage okay. Hand. It's here. Mage, 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 mage hand. We love it. A spect uh, spectral floating hand appears yeah, at a point yeah. you choose. As a spectral floating hand appears at a point you choose within range. The hand lasts for a duration, duration, or until you dismiss its action. The hand vanishes. Blah blah blah. This is the important part. You can use your action to control the hand. You can use the hand to manipulate an object or. Unlock. Open a door or yeah, container. Slow or retrieve and an item. So you can like ten pounds. Ten pounds. And the hand can't attack, activate magic items, or carry more than ten pounds. Ten pounds. So, so basically, uh, ten pound if, if you want to trip him, you could put the mage hand in front of him as he walks away. Just as he walks. I don't want to do that. It's too obvious. I want to take his ankle. You want to pull his ankle away? Yeah. Okay. Something more discreet, so he can't know where it came from. Okay. First of all, give me a perception check. <laughs> well, he's back to me. I don't like this guy. Keep rolling lows. Yeah, roll that one so much better. <laughs> That's yours, man. Enjoy your six. Exactly. exactly. Enjoy your six. <laughs> not my luck. I need to see this. Thirteen. Oh. God damn it. it. It's you, not okay, the dice. So you, yes. you see the mage hand, but like right at the last minute. Give me a dexterity save with advantage. Oh, oh with advantage. Okay, that's fine. Fifteen. Whoa. Sixteen. Uh, what's your dex? So, uh, uh, it doesn't matter, he made it both. My dex both. is zero. Right. He, he made both. So, as you're just about to get caught in the, in the mage hand, you kind of find your footing with your, with your other foot, and you stop, and you shake your, your, your hoof. And because your hoof is so wide, the mage hand can't Actually, get... it will go really quickly. Uh, like, I don't want it to Is it a there. hoof? Just like grab yeah, him and let go. Your teeth like have hoofs? Yeah, yeah. you have demon. Right. They have a hoof and a tail. <laughs> that yeah. is yeah. And a tail. I'm so yeah. impressed by himself right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know okay, I have hoofs. I have hoofs. <laughs> do I wear horseshoes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually do. Wow, that's crazy. Jazz hooves. <laughs> <laughs> so you're sitting on a board like ding, ding, ding. I actually use What are you doing? It's just a pedicure. I use it to sharpen my dagger. I have a dagger. Yep. Uh, smart. Thank you, thank you. So you because so really the, the hoof is so mm -hmm. it's so convenient. You should buy one. The mage hand can't <laughs> find 
all the way around and it kind of just like slips away as you shake it away and you now know that he's uh, like, no no i would get up who did that <laughs> you just saw a, a mage hand and you know what mage hand is i don't even bother looking at him oh, this is my mage. i know it was him <laughs> do you i do okay you know. i have so my suspicions we know do i really know that is me come on i've, I've got my suspicions god damn it do i know so i follow him you follow him i follow him you have been followed can him. i roll for persuasion oh, to do what I want to persuade him to come and sit with us and relax and have a drink. Why don't you RP it? Convince us. All right. <coughs> you harvest wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, have you wait? Wait, have you wait? <laughs> Give me the good. <laughs> Give me from the end. The from the end. All right. So I, 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 I approach you. I stop you. I tell you, harvest wait. Yes. What is it that you're so afraid of? Blair, you're not going to see it. I don't trust that man. He has his eye on us at all times. Which man? Did you notice that? Of course he has his eye on us. He needs us. He needs our strength. He doesn't just need us. He's planning for something. Right. I don't know if he's taking us to a trap. All right. Do I overhear this as well? Or? No, no, we're fine. fine. Could be. But I'm not, I'm not necessarily like quiet about it. Yeah, but you guys stepped away. So. Okay. okay. And your accent's fell. Alright. My, my accent is It's mi- mixed, right? No, it's just falling, it's just thickening up. Alright, dramatic effect. <clears throat> Alright, this could be a trap. This could be a magic spell. Yes, we might run into an ambush. When that happens, we will get out of it. We're here anyway. We, you might as well just relax. We are part of a group now. We might as well find our strength with them. If you're gonna keep sitting there suspecting everyone, even the person who saved your life, you're not gonna get anywhere. I don't suspect you guys, but I do suspect him. All right, so do I. Okay, stop there. Card. What? It's card. Oh, okay. It's good. The GoPro is still on. You guys want to take a break? Yeah, I gotta go to the okay, washroom. Yeah. Take a second. All right. So. Wow, it's fucking ten. Jeez. Do you Fuck guys, what do you guys want? To, you guys are still talking, or do you want to sleep for the night and start moving the next day? No, we were still talking. Okay, go. I was giving shit. It was fun. Okay. Yeah. Screw you, buddy. <laughs> Where's the? He is in the bathroom. Are we going to wait for him? No, go for it. It's not going to listen. Okay. You should let 15 minutes stay. We should what? I don't know. Let's go. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, Eel has a small bladder. All right. Okay. Nothing. So we are here anyway. If it is a trap, if it's uh, if it's an ambush, if they're going to attack us, it's going to happen anyway, and we are going to respond to it anyway. So come, sit, join. Blair, why are you looking for trouble? I'm not looking for trouble. You're basically doing everything reckless that there is to do. What is the point of all this? Fine. And I walk away. Alright. So as you walk away, the party is tra- starting to simmer down. People are kind of like passed out. Uh, while they are doing that, I would be like, what do you think of the redhead and the guy who always looks like he's gonna cry? <laughs> Well, I trust, <coughs> I trust, uh, blood, Vulea. tear, no, well, would you uh, want a nickname? Tier. No, you would call me by my nickname. Well, I trust her blood tear. She seems uh, very fiery and passionate with what she does. I don't think she is lying. The other one, the little one, I do not distrust him. But he is distant. I will give him that. Yeah, he probably just have parent issues. I trust the redhead. Her nickname is going to be useful. Interesting. By the way, did I see him try to trip him at all when he was doing? No, no you're like. Oh yeah. Who oh, yeah. <laughs> <Who's bad? laughs> yeah. All right. So the camp, the, the campfire starts to simmer down. People are going back into the tents to go to sleep, and you guys retire for the night. Okay. Morning comes, and as you're walking down the path. You see the morning dew because they wake up pretty early to start moving. They like to party, so this minute the sun goes down, they start to party. So they wake up pretty early to start to move. And as as you guys are waking up and starting to get onto the convoy, moving along, you start to see the dew, which is normally dissipated by after about an hour of travel. It kind of hangs around, lingers around. 
And it, this is now like six hours in. What do you guys want to do? There's mist. The, the morning dew kind yeah. of lingers on, and the kind of the morning mist, but it's gone now. Okay. But it's it keeps uh, each day you move, it kind of st- hangs out a bit. <coughs> what I do I feel this is normal with my whole yeah, it's, nature? Yeah, it's okay. normal. All right. <coughs> so while we travel, obviously I'm gonna go to Stanimir and try to do the talks sure. I was referring to. So Stanimir is sitting in the lead caravan. <coughs> so how dangerous is this kingdom you were talking about? Ah, uh, Barovia. You've never heard of Barovia? I didn't travel a lot, unfortunately. Barovia is a very strange land. It's all because of the curse that has befallen our Dark Lord. Many strangers have been drawn to Barovia over the years, but they all die or disappear. Anyone who attempts to leave the land of Barovia begins to choke on the fog surrounding it. Any further they move, and they just drop. This all started when our Lord was cursed, which is why we have come to you to help us remove this evil blight and restore Barovia to its natural glory. Do you know where this curse is from? There are many, many tales of where this curse comes from. Uh, so, with a single bag of chips, all three cameras have been blocked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about Mr. and Mrs. Filmmakers. All right, sorry. I saw chips, dude. Yeah, okay. Mm. Trump's camera any day. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Mm. Trump's my family. Oh. <laughs> Our Lord. Chips. Strad von Zarovich. Only telling him? Because we. He's are the only one asking. Yeah. You guys have been doodling along with him? I'm uh, reading a book. <coughs> really? Yes. Nice. Not a book. <clears throat> the book. Okay. It's mm. what I do every morning. Noted. I'm going around talking to different people. Okay, I'll get to yes. you when we do this. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Strad von. I'm not reading your book. You're Zarovich. supposed to know. Strad von Zarovich. Oh, I'm the only one who would know. Yeah. Strad. But just mm-hmm. note it for now. Yeah. Von. S T R A H D. Okay. That's not the part I have a problem with. Von. Mm-hmm. Zarovich. That's the part I have. Z A R O V I C H. Z A R O V I C H. Is it written Zarovich? Well, I'm telling you, not this time, <laughs> not uh, standing here. So, <laughs> our Lord Strad von Zarovic. He comes from a royal bloodline. He died centuries ago, yet endures as one of the undead. Oh, God. He feasts on the blood of the living. Oh. All Barovians refer to him as the devil. Strahd. Strahd has taken many consorts, but he has only one true love. A Barovian girl, a peasant girl, named Tatiana. No one knows what happened to this girl. Strad now resides in Castle Ravenloft. Okay. He named the castle after his mother, Queen Ravonia. Strangers are not welcome in Castle Ravenloft. So you're saying this undead is responsible for the curse? I'm saying that Prince Strad, our lord, is cursed. So what does this undead has to do with this? He's undead. He is not. He withdraws the question. Okay. Okay. 
So what would be our first task? We want to take you to our leader, Madame Eva. She knows many things. She knows of past lives, of upcoming lives, of past events and upcoming events. <clears throat> she will be of great help. Understood. She resides in the camp right by the Tsar pools. We will take you there. Alright. I will go rest in my uh, caravan if you don't mind. On your way, my good man. On your way. So have a good day. As to you. Alright. <coughs> right, choose my accent. <coughs> Okay, so you go around talking to various extent. Yes. All right. What do you want to do? So, um, Who? this is not a camp, is it? It's a convoy. It's a moving camp. It's like a circus. Okay. Okay. It's like but a moving circus. Are they moving right now, or is it a break? No, no. Now everybody's moving along. Everybody's moving along. And it's it's a convoy, so it's it's uh, horse drawn. So you guys, people are some people are walking, some people are on, on the carriages. All right. I'm walking and reading. Okay, so I look for the, I, I look around for a person that everybody goes and talks to, other than standing here. Alright. Okay, someone that's, you know, sec- not as important as standing here, but quite important looking. Does that need perception, Ro? Um, usually I'd say yes, but the Vistani are usually people who- who don't judge anybody and they run away from being judged and they're always lively and full of life okay. and everybody treats everybody equally with okay. happiness and cheer and okay. so the idea of having like a leader and thing it's not really in their tradition okay. but it's just standing here because he's one of the eldest and he can hold his liquor way better than anybody else okay so maybe then i'd look for someone that standing here talks to standing here just sitting in the front kind of just you're basically looking for me. No, but I've, I've been with them for like a day now, right? Yeah, he's just sitting in the front camera. He doesn't really talk to anybody. Interesting. Okay, so I approach a random person. That's okay. So you approach random. Okay. Uh, all right. You want to approach a guy or a girl walking or on a carriage? What do you hmm. want? <coughs> okay. I don't know what would be more interesting. I approach a woman. All right. All right. Um, so I approach her based on the fact that she doesn't look like she's with anyone. All right. She's just a lady, you know. <clears throat> okay. So you approach a girl that's walking on foot. Yeah. She has a nice little skip to her step. She's wearing a low-cut top with kind of an elastic thingy and has big plumes and just cuts off here. Okay. And it's very colorful, red and blue. And um, it's a very short top, so kind of like ends right up underneath her bosom. And she has a really long, flowy skirt, uh, also matching the patterns and the colors on her thing. And she has wild blue hair, and she has some of it just tied up in a bun on top. And she's just dancing, skipping along. She has a heavy, heavy mascara, no other makeup on. Okay, no one's, no one's drunk, right? No, no, this is not. Okay. 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 She's just happily skipping along. Okay. So I walk to her. Mm -hmm. I walk right next to her. All right. Without looking at you, yeah. she says, Hey, my name is Janik. What's yours? <laughs> Janik. Interesting. Who the fuck is Janik? <laughs> you know, it's not very often. Uh, no, not very often. <laughs> you know, where I come from, women like you are considered beyond beautiful. Ah, we have a sweet tongue, do we? I like you. I hope you do. I really do think your blue hair would look better if untied. Oh, you flatter me, you good man. Well, I'm never one to pass up on opportunity to for flattery. And she goes, and as she does that, you see the rest of her blue hair just flail in the wind in slow motion as she flicks it back and forth. 
I was right. It goes very well with my skin. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that was awful. I would just that was in character. Chicken. I literally face <laughs> I you would be far away smiling. Uh, yeah. yes, I Is was. everybody listening? I'm not listening, but like I can how long have you, how, how, I'm <clears> listening <throat> and I face palm. How long have you been with the convoy? I've been with the Vistani and Master Sanamir for almost all... Yeah, as long as I can remember. I was about a girl of yay, four years old, when they picked me up. I was cast away. Nobody knew who my parents were. And I've been with them since. Just driving along, down to town, making our stops in Barovia and out. Wow. Interesting. I've been... I've been a traveler myself. I've never heard of your town, Barovia. It's quite the interesting place from what I hear. Well, interesting's quite a way to put it. Is there anything special that you can tell me about it, other than your cursed leader? Well, sure. What would you like to know? Mm, damn, I don't think of that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <clears throat> Face palm again. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Your friend back there must Yo. have some headache. I think it's all the ale she drank last night. She's quite the drinker. Now, what's... What... Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, uh, on my desk, you'll find uh, a thingy. Yeah. Comes take two. Right. Okay. What does your master Sanamir do in Barovia? Well, I wouldn't say we do anything. We just stop in by, bring supplies for the Barovians. Poor guys, poor town folk, they can't leave. We're the only people that can go in and out freely. We bring in supplies, rations, we do a good fair deal of trade. And has Stadamir made anything? Uh, has made a name for himself, as I can... Uh, Stadamir has made a name for himself, as I can see. Is there anything great about a hero such as him that you can tell me? I wouldn't call him a hero. He's just one of our elders. He's been around a long, long time. Thank you very much, beautiful. I'll see you later. I bet you will. <laughs> exit smooth. <laughs> exit stage right. Smooth exit. All right. I gotta go blue up my skin. Mm. <clears throat> so... What else do you guys uh, want to do? I, do you want to talk to anybody? I will talk to uh, Pulea while he was doing that. Okay. I'll be like, quite the lady man for a tiefling. I'm sorry, what? I wasn't listening because I was reading. Mm -hmm. why, do you lis uh, why do you hang out with a cry boy? Do you look like a strong woman? Well, um, I just met him. Uh, just a few days ago, so we don't go that far back. Uh, He's a, he's a little strange, he's suspicious, he uh, keeps to himself, but uh, I'm quite fond of his race. I actually trust you. Should I have any suspicions about him? About Harvest? Yes, the crybaby. Well, like you said, he's a <laughs> crybaby. I don't know. I, I cannot tell you, really. But uh, I think uh, the four of us uh, should be able to trust each other if we are going to be in trouble on this trip. I would like to do inside check. What do you want to find out? If she's hiding stuff. Uh, about him. Mm -hmm. About him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it. Don't roll that, please. I fight the gods! <laughs> Defiant. Good luck. Uh, not, no, bad. not bad. That's no. good. So, okay, so we have uh, some insights. So, uh, 12 insights. plus 1 plus 3, 15. 15. Um, whatever she's telling you is mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. That's what you believe. Okay. And um, you haven't asked her a question that she has dodged. She has answered truthfully to everything you've asked. 
if I may be precise, so she said she met him recently? Yes, do you believe that? Uh, she said she he's okay, like he's not a threat. Do you believe that? Okay, well, it's all good. Alright. What else do you guys So while these guys were in the ca in walking around with the caravan, I went and just scouted ahead into the woods. I, I'm how exactly is the route towards the uh, It's just okay, so <coughs> you guys went off the main road mm. and you started going into a started off with like a a barely visible little nook that goes off the road mm -hmm. it's just a, one or two little stones on the side and you started just going through that and as you went through it for about like 100 feet 150 feet it started becoming like a, a proper dirt road okay N not something that's been traveled a lot but it has been traveled you see the wagon marks and the hoof prints and the footsteps <coughs> and uh, you've been walking down this path and it's just winding through the bushes through the trees so the what so there are trees it's a, it's a forest yeah it's, yeah, it's forest right okay now. And as you keep going, it gets colder, and uh, the morning dew gets heavier. And um, at this point now, you're at almost the end of day day one. Um, it's almost cold enough to snow, but it's not. So I, um, first of all, I Are use we walking all close to each other, right? Are we all like huddled? In a it's a it's single file mm. convoy, so you have about... Uh, ten caravans, ten mm. carts, and that's just riddled with people. Okay, so I tell him. Mm -hmm. uh, same conversation or later on? No, no, same, same. We're still okay. in the conversation. Okay. So you believe me, and I say, uh, I think that we should all discuss what we think is going to happen. So should we could be prepared for the possibility of a fight when we arrive. I agree. I am assuming everybody has done some sort of investigating. I haven't, but. I actually tell her everything I know about the curse, mm -hmm. uh, as I do with Caldo later right. on. I will tell them about the curse, Tatiana. Uh, I wouldn't go too much in detail for Caldo, I don't think he cares that much. So I wouldn't say about Tatiana, I would just say there Let's is... Let's assume you said all that to everybody and what? whatever he believed, but... Yeah. Okay. Mm. But he doesn't know. You didn't tell him. I didn't talk to him. I'm, right. I'm going to talk to Sanabir. Alright. So yeah, while they were doing this, I was scouting in the woods. So I did two things in the woods. Mm -hmm. I did the cantrip, uh, druidcraft. Um, you create a tiny harmless sensory effect that predicts what the weather will be at your location for the next 24 hours. So what do I tell? Uh, at your, when you when you cast the spell, it tells you what the weather is going to be in this location, location for the next 24 hours. hours. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, the weather in the, in the next 24 hours is going to be exactly the same as it is right now. Okay. And in the next 24 hours, you're not going to be there. You're going to be 24 hours away. Yeah, so here for the next 24 hours, it's just the same. It's exactly the okay. same. Okay. Next thing I wanted to do was speak with animals again. And mm -hmm. do I see any f ravens or other flying creatures? You see around? like normal... Birds? Or yeah, animals? nothing nothing out, out of the ordinary there. Okay. Do, really do interesting. I speak to the birds? Like I speak to one bird mm -hmm. that's flying quite high mm -hmm. and I summon it. Has gone backwards the more he's spoken to animals. And I want to uh, ask it. Uh, can I, first of all, I'm speaking to it? Yeah, okay. Let's okay. assume you're speaking to it. Um, so I, can, I want to ask it, um, hey little birdie, do you see any danger up ahead? <laughs> it's like season eagle. Eagles. I see eagles. I don't like eagles. <laughs> Do you see anything? I will protect you from the eagles. Do you see anything harmful to us? To me? Like Zika? Mosquito? What do you want? What harmful to you? I don't know. Mosquito. Bad men. Bad. Men. <laughs> men. <laughs> bad. <laughs> bad men. I see no men. No Big men. Big men. Bad men. No hiding men. No monster. I see eagles. Only eagles. Monster eagles. They eat my friends. <laughs> Don't worry, mm -hmm. all of you come, we will protect Great. you. Uh, I don't believe you when he flies away. Okay. I go back to the And as he's flying away, he goes... No! It's, it's, that's a friendly thing to do. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Can you roll dexterity for the dodge? Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you not here? <laughs> you call my man. Oh, man. <laughs> Good call. Come on. Uh, 14 minus yeah, you're, one? You're, so you're, you're, okay. you're Professional shit dodger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. No, this you excel at, but gnomes no. No, great. No, no, no. <laughs> He's so used to talking to birds. I'm one with nature. I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So I go back and join, mm -hmm. and he tells me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, 
It's winding down to the end of the first day. You okay. guys set up camp again. So How many days have we been this gone? Is this first is the day. first day. Oh, okay. The trip will take you three days. Three days. Okay. Oh, so geez, this is the end of the first day to start camp. Sorry, I said... I thought it was a day and a half. Sorry, second day. Okay. This is the end of the second day. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm. Right. And you guys setting up camp again. Everybody's doing the exact same thing that they were doing last time. Right. What do you guys want to do? I actually go tell him about what I know. All right. In detail. You tell him everything. Yeah. Okay. He comes. I him. bring uh, Caldo and we sit with okay, them. Okay. So all you guys are sitting. We're sitting together. Okay. Interesting. Um, Hold on a second. Who's speaking? Zero. Yes. May I have some? I know that. Okay, so is that the sound of us walking? Spell. Yeah. I guess the car is It's on. making me anxious. Like someone's coming point. at me from behind. Uh, they stopped for camp. We stopped, man. Shalom, stop it. I will get you something as well. <laughs> Who's coming? So now they're playing, right? Music? Yeah, it's a dance of music. Uh, so I'm hearing the Hearthstone. I'm looking at her. Right okay. Okay, so you guys are chilling. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? So, so Beast Walker, did you get anything there. from the birds? What birds? Oh, the birds. Yes. Um, <laughs> Who fell? <laughs> Who fell? <laughs> uh, well, the birds, uh, they, don't, they don't have anything to warn us about. They never There's have nothing anything to warn us about. <laughs> okay, next time you will be the one to dodge what I had to dodge. <laughs> Was there a gnome in the forest? <laughs> what? What no? I hide five. What no? 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 Hashtag what no? What no? Who fell? Who fell? Me with the horns? I'm just like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to smile! <laughs> oh my god! It's very rare that I smile. <laughs> this one did the trick. Wow. Good one. So, what do you uh, do? You have any perception of? Uh, <laughs> Do you have any idea what we are coming up against, where we are going, from well, other than what we've been told? Stanami seems quite trustworthy. Really? Of my people. Oh. I'd like to talk to him, however. I already Again. did. You Would you like to join? I'd like to talk to him about this, a couple of different things sure. that you did not cover. Sure. But uh, just as a side note, apparently we're gonna have to fight a lot of undead, and that doesn't make me easy because I'm usually I usually deal with humanoids. That is music to my ears. <laughs> Great. Undead should be relatively easy. With the two bulldozers next, to bulldozers don't exist in that world. What is this bulldozer? <laughs> is it some sort of bull, but like, They're like those bulls. of those is of sleepy bull. Sleep. <laughs> sleepy bull. Sleepy bull. They're bulls that sleep a lot. Sleepy bull. <laughs> it's a bulldozer. It's a sleepy bull. They are meant to guard the gates of the nine hells. Nice save. Okay, whatever you say. I like I like being bulldozer. That's a Z snap move. <laughs> so these two bulldozers. I don't mm-hmm. think we should be worried much about undead. Alright. Let's go talk to my Stanimir. Cool. Alright. Clap, 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 clap. Off, are you going to talk to Sam? Yeah. No, I stop her. Clap, 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 I say. Clap, clap. Mm. They are becoming friends. Let them become friends. Yes, let the bromance grow. I agree. Yes. Alright. Awesome. We'll drink. We will wait for them. Alright, so we sit and we drink. Alright. We don't engage in the very awesome conversation. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, go for it. Stanley is sitting we by the fire as usual. He has another ten steins of ale beside him, empty, and he's drinking his eleventh. Hello, wise man. My friend has some questions he would like to ask you. Please, ask away. All your help is much appreciated. Our pleasure. Master Stanley, I'm not sure if you heard, but knowing you, you seem to have your eye on everything. I say that you've noticed that I've been going around asking about you. Have you now? I hadn't noticed. I'm sure you haven't. And he gives a grin and a glint in his eye. (laughs) As I'm sure you haven't. Now my question to you is, what were you doing in Daggerfall? I know you're traders, but traders do leave when people come and ask you to leave. 
My good man, like I told your friend over here, we were in Daggerford looking for y'all. Do you mean specifically, folks? We're always looking for people to come and help out our Dark Lord. We heard many tales of your many, many victories. And have you assisted anyone before? No, have you seeked anyone's assistance before? You, my friends, are the first that I've taken into Borovia. Huh. What do you know of this, of the nature of this curse and the people that are cursed by it? If you don't mind me asking for details. Given that we're going to risk our lives. You have a good place to ask, my friend. I'm so glad I'm intelligent enough to ask these questions. <laughs> bird, hey, bird, 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 Barovia is not a place for the faint of heart. The souls that lose their physical form in Barovia stay in Barovia forever. They cannot escape. Some Vistani, after entering Barovia, are blessed with foresight. That is who Madam Eva is. If knowledge of the future is what you seek. Who's, what's her name, sorry? Madam Eva is the one to see. Madam Eva. And Madam Eva has abilities to, she has powers? Is that what she said? She has a certain precognition, if you will. A gift. A gift. Do you have anything else? Be wary of the night creatures in Borovia. This land sees no sun even in the day. It is always overcast. Wolves roam the woods and ravens parade the skies. Some say that ravens are lost souls trapped there. I would advise against harming any one of those ravens. I think we've got the talking to them covered. <laughs> Barovia has since become Lord Strad's domain. A place outside of place. No one enters without his will. No one leaves. Period. If you don't mind me asking, why do the inhabitants of Barovia still live there? They have no choice. They cannot leave. If they exit, the fog consumes them and they die in the woods. Our lineage has helped the Lord in the past. That's why he spared the Vistani. Thank you very much, Lord Stanimir. Is there anything you want to add? I actually have some personal matter to discuss with uh, Stanimir, if you don't mind. Sure. I will leave you to it. Thank you. So you come back to us? Clop, clop, clop. Tell us what... <laughs> I'm loving this clop, clop. Because my... Because you have... Okay, so yeah, uh, when he walks back, clopping back... Why no feet? He has no feet. <laughs> These are hooves, you know, like Oof. the like the bulldozer. Hooves. Yes. Hooves. <laughs> <laughs> <Oof. Oof. Oof. laughs> so, what do you want to do? So, what I would like to ask Stanimir is. We'll talk. Yeah. So, sir Stanimir, uh, you actually said you heard stories about us. The legend of your victories traveled far and wide. And Duchess Morrowin does not place her trust easily in just anyone. Could you be so kind as to tell me some stories you have heard about my companions? Ah, my good man. Vanity does not become you. <laughs> I don't like blowing smoke up people's asses. I understand, but I like you know, you know best than anyone. 
that working efficiently with people requires to know them. If I do not know them, I cannot predict what they are going to do, and I cannot efficiently assist them. I demand you for the mercy for to increase our chances of success to free this kingdom of Borovia. To help me, give me uh, to help provide me with some informations. They may, unfortunately, against our own uh, need, they may, against our own need, hold some informations that might be vital. For that, I beg of you, provide me with some insight. My good man, I've told you all you wanted to know about the Vistani. If you want to know about the Barovians, please ask away. I want to know about my companions. Ah, your companions. Duchess Morwin holds them in very high regard. And that is not to be taken lightly. Do you know if those are good reasons or bad reasons? These reasons are her own, and she is very, very secretive. A masked man like yourself understands the need for secrecy. One last question. Please ask away. What do you know of Blood Tear? Blood Tear? We've heard many rumors of Blood Tear. Savage, savage beast. Destroyed entire platoons of mercenaries. Slaughtered many. Never gave up. I mean, the Blood Tear. The Blood Tear. Alright. Thank you. Kindly. You're most <laughs> welcome, my good man. <laughs> That was very useful. I hope to talk to you soon again. <laughs> Anytime you like. Anytime you like. <laughs> so basically, I didn't learn anything about you guys. <laughs> you can ask us. <laughs> We're right You would probably answer, but him, I know he wouldn't. Okay, so okay. the night, the day's winding down again. No, the, he came to we're, us to tell we're us. We're gonna talk. Oh yeah, I have sorry. Questions. Go for it. Right. Also, I want to um, later ask you about a cert- the, my 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 trinket. All right. All right. Yep. Cool. So come to us. Oh. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Where did the accent <laughs> and the character go? It's like a different character. Hey guys. Hey guys. my hood. They're like, super <laughs> shiny. Chances. <laughs> Run in the fat. Anyways. <laughs> you have to keep saying flatulence to the, the king. Fat. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, Caldo goes. Uh, what are you guys? What, what have you guys been up to? We're drinking? just sitting, uh, drinking. Drinking? Yeah. Tell drinking. us, uh, what did, uh, what did, what did uh, Stratomir tell you? Well, Stratomir does not speak very well of this place. I don't know what you guys have handled before, but this place does not seem like a place we should take lightly at all. Explain, how does he describe it? Well, he says the fog takes people, and they, they are found in the woods days later. He speaks of a curse that's beyond people that have been uh, cursed. He says, the people that go to Barovia never come back. That sounds like a familiar place. He says if they go there and they die, they never leave Barovia. And I don't know what that means. I've faced and I've seen undead and things beyond that, but I've never heard of anything. How does this this? Stanamir keep going and coming from there? Did you ask him he says, that? He says, he says this. I heard that they're traders. They trade items. And they go and they help the poor. They say that he's a very helping man. And very kind. Helps a lot of the poor folk within Barovia. Did he describe Barovia as dark? He did. He said it's a cursed land. Just like its prince. I don't understand why... If no one can leave once you go there, how come he can go and come back as he pleases? This is very strange, do you not think? Not related. Are you th- is it strange? Do you but trust he has 
Remember the story they that I told you at the campfire the very first time you met him? I actually know that they were some sent of out. Them. What? That no, that he, uh, he did some favors his, and helped, and they let them the go. The Vistani's ancestors helped him out, and then he said, You can move throughout my land. Yeah, yeah, he, he let them, yeah. Ah, so yeah. They were eternally and he said invited. it now again. <coughs> yeah, said it now. So Strad let them? S- Strad, yeah, he keeps uh, his Strad, word yeah. of letting the Vistani. Because his ancestors like, helped him out, so okay. he, b- so he, he is, lets them okay. go in and out. So yeah. I want, I have a question. Uh, so I mentioned that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I have a question. Yeah. Can we leave? And can we enter? That I do not know. But from what I understood, it's not that you cannot leave. There's no magic that keeps you in there. It's the things that keep you mm. inside. But you said there is a fog. The fog consumes you, but what is in the fog is what matters. He says that the dead become crows. This is a common legend. You might want to look into that and ask your bird friends if they could talk of any birds that I have come from I will that speak to them when we are there. there. Birds of that side, ask them about it. They are not danger, for God's sake. <laughs> How do you know about danger? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true, I shouldn't know that. You shouldn't, you should, you know, you shouldn't. No, but he asked the owl. Yeah. The owl said there's nothing. No, but he asked it about danger. No, no, yeah, yeah. Danger. And, oh, and he okay, was like, they're never then, warning okay. us about danger. And they're never. Oh, okay. There was no danger. Mm. The, the owl and the bird never laughed. Yeah, yeah, but he, he, he was doesn't like, know. Yeah. He, he just w- thinks they're all idiots. Mm. Yeah, so he told him, like, oh, yeah, they yeah. never. So mm. I'm saying this off of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, he's, right. he's right. Yeah, sorry. All right. All right, so the camps, the campfire is fading down. People are going, retiring to bed. <coughs> now it's getting colder. Now we're getting closer, right? Because, yeah, you're getting closer. It's getting colder as well. And uh, this night, for some reason, the Vistani seemed to drink a lot. And they didn't even retire to their tents. They just passed out like, right in the middle of the camp. Mm-hmm. What do you guys want to do? I think I'll leave. I will uh, okay. t- tell a good night to Caldo, but just uh, ask him if he could let one of his little pets guard the surroundings and alert us if something happens. Okay. Let's I, you guys think, I think you have a spell like that. Right? Yes. I want you guys to roll perception. A group perception check. Does his little animal perceive something? No, he didn't have a chance to do it. So I, um, I was going to say something oh before this. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, it so I'm... Room, because we were all saying what we were doing. Yeah. While well, this is happening. So I had, I had a drink earlier. And, and I don't drink, drink usually. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to You drank? Happen. Yeah. One, one Without pint. Without yeah. me? <laughs> oh, dare you! He took a pint. Yeah. One pint, and I'm still drinking it. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying. I know. Yeah. I'm just perception, saying. please. I'm just saying. Maybe a concept for uh, Group perception. Oh my god. Nice. Five. What? Mine? Oh, very bad. Um, please, Vulia. What is it? Plus mine? My plus, plus your wisdom. If you have perception. I have perception, so plus four. So 17 plus four. Oh, oh that's okay. good. 14 total. 14? Two total. I just feel <laughs> like a barbaric world. Oh, it's wisdom three. Oh, okay. 21. 21 indeed. Blackjack. Two success. I am totally on the DC. So, as you guys are having this conversation, you hear in the very vast distance, Who goes there? And there's a very chill mist. And then a large man in drab clothing. He's wearing a tattered gray cloak. Tattered pants, no shoes. And he leans heavily on a spear as he's coming closer with a small bundle of animal pelts slung over his shoulder. Who goes there? Is that him saying that? Yeah. And this is the, this is what you see. This is the image that you see. All right. I stand up and I grab my uh, flail. All right. And I say, who are you? What is this ruckus around here? You scared away the animals. You're the one making all this noise. Shh. As he comes closer, okay. he throws his uh, rope of animal pelts on the ground, which seems to be his hunt for the day. And he says, Why are you guys making so much noise? Are we sleeping? No, we were no, awake. No, we're this is in the middle of the conversation. Right oh, before sorry. we went to sleep. So where's the caravan? 
It's there, right? So the caravan is kind of set in a, a semicircle around you guys, huh? and there's tents, and then the campfire. So I'm gonna look for Stanmir. All okay. right, you wanna go, go leave them and go look for him. <coughs> All right, go for but, it. But uh, I will have to, if I have to yell, Stanmir, where, where are you? There is. So you're yelling. We have visitors, yeah. Okay. Stanmir, we have visitors. You get no reply. I'm in where are position I? to hit. You guys are all, all four of you sitting right in front of the campfire. Oh, so I okay. So yeah, she yeah. noticed him. I noticed. She noticed him. the guy. Yeah. And then he came closer, and then now he's standing in front of you guys. Okay. I stood up and I yeah. grabbed my flail. So where are the right? other human beings? They're passing out. Everybody's just passed stuff. out on the ground, sleeping. Or but they are there physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. They were passed out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought they disappeared and were alone. All right. So you called for Stratomir. Yes, so since you're the second best character. And I'm in attack mode. Strat- you don't hear a response from Strat- no. Huh. This is, this is- I thought, okay? This is a passing on, boy. They will be gone soon. You have to leave. Now. Why? Now. Can you tell me why? Now. And as he's saying that, his body seems to bulge a little bit. Like he's tensing up all his muscles so it all condenses into one giant muscle. Mm-hmm. He's a bit towering, he's about seven feet tall, and he's kind of hunched over. Okay. And he has kind of a li- little bit of skinny legs, mm. and he has massive arms, and he's just, his hair is just going down all the way down his back. Can I cast a spell? You may. Please. Sleep. <laughs> no. Alright. So I'm gonna cast something. Uh, should I hit the what, do I ha- what does he have to roll? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What does he have for that? Uh, actually, I roll. I don't think he rolls anything. Okay, could you read the spell out loud, please? Sure. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Could you keep this with you? Yeah. This one. Uh, I'm going to get mine next time. <coughs> Sleep. So happy I don't have spell. Sorry about that. No, it's not for me. Hit. I can mm. move. Double crit. Right. That's a long spell for a simple. Uh, okay. This spell sends creatures into a magical slumber. Roll 5d8. The total is how many hit points. Creature, this spell can affect creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose within range are affected and ascending order. Starting with the creature that has the lowest current hit, that we're not interested by that. Unconscious. Okay. So basically, what you do is you roll. Mm. How many you roll? 5d8. 5d8s. And then you take that total, mm. and you and you tell me that total. I'll see if the hit points of them. Lower than zero Starts from the lowest one to the lowest to the highest, and, until, Using those, and points those are the ones that are sleeping. Obviously, yeah. What's the, the twenty range feet on area. Twenty, uh, the 20 range radius. Area, twenty feet radius. The range is 90. The range is ninety feet. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But so where are you casting on him? On him and behind, just in case. On him. So and like it's star- the line starts with him. All right. So That's behind him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. In case there is something behind him. All right. So, yeah, yeah. 5d8? Yeah. 5d8, yeah. 5d8? 5d8. 5d8. For what? For, his, for the health uh, of the creatures. Okay. So how much health it affects? 4. 10. Seven. 14. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? The 5d8. Yeah. 15. Come on. Uh, 16. 16. Did you just roll like five ones? <laughs> no, no, I no, roll, no, no. rolled two ones, two one six, one okay. five, one four. So you get sixteen? Fifteen. Fifteen? Or sixteen? How do you cast sleep? I just cast it normally with my hand. So you do this? I do not mind at all. Okay. Yeah, so just, you do that? Yeah, I just sleep. So he feels a very incandescent wave go brush against his hair, and his hair kind of falls back, and you see that he has a big, ma- magnificent beard. And then suddenly his gaze goes to you. And then he hunches over more and his body seems to get a little more massive. That's a tough one, guys. And when you did that, I want you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh no. My strongest suit. Six? Of course. Oh, of course. Six plus? Zero. Zero. (laughs) All right. Oh crap. You find yourself swept off your feet and land on your back. Okay. You guys are standing right beside him, right? Mm-hmm. So what you guys, just off the peripheral of your eye, I want you guys, three guys to make a perception check. 15. Nine plus four, 11. 15, 15, 15 and four? No, 13, nine plus four, 13. 13. So you guys, you see a shadow rush from behind you, sweep him, and rush back. 
And rush back. Rush back. So it's like one swift movement. Okay. So I'm just on the ground. <laughs> and you're, you're on the ground. Yes, and, and now Finally. I want you all to roll initiative. Zap, zap. Ooh. Which we are very good at. Oh. Right? I'm going to use this map just because we don't have one right now. Terrible. Okay. okay. So oh, I move yes, them. Yeah, yeah, just, well, just this side. I don't have to run up. But yeah, don't initiative. 15 to 20. 13. 16. This guy wasn't us. Which oh, these yeah. Um, I'm gonna What's, uh, I'll text you. Volea? What's yours? Volea, 13. 13. Uh, no one knows how to say this guy. <laughs> 12. 12, and what's yours? 6, 7. Is it 6? It, this was, it was 7. You touched it. Seven yeah, 7 minus so 1. He's down. Oh, 7 minus 1? 6? Yeah. Is this what happened? So he's down now? Mm. Where is he? Here? So, oh, wait. Okay, so. Let's get let's get rid of this one. All right, let's just. Right, right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Um, I replaced. This is whom? That's him. All right. So yeah. you are. Explain this way. You're in the middle here. Mm -hmm. On flatten your back this way. Then. Okay. Who's this? That's the guy. Okay. So the guy's standing here. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is me. Yep. And you're standing right here. This is me. Yeah. So that's that's what's going on. Actually, no, because you you guys saw him, so you're here and you're here. Right. And he will be back. Okay. So, is he still in place? The guy is still in place. Doesn't seem to be. There's a shadow. The shadow behind him goes. And is there fog around this? It's it's getting misty because it's getting that to that time of the, mm. of the night when the condensation kind of like and it's getting cold as well. Right after the fire is snuffed out, the heat difference will make it. Okay. Um, you hear in the distance. A fluttering of birds that exit through the canopy. As you look with your eye, you see that all come in from the same area. And then again from the other side. Thank you. And then again from the other side. And you hear howling of wolves in the background. Yeah. Right. Okay. Suddenly, now we're good? We're good? Okay. Suddenly, rustling of the trees right behind you, over here, you hear a rustling that surrounds you, and one giant silhouetted hairy form jumps out at you, but as it's jumping, its eyes gets caught in the, f the flame of the fire and gets phased out. And kind of misses you and rolls on the ground in front of you. Yeah, because I rolled a one on its attack. <laughs> <laughs> and you find a giant werewolf standing right in front of you. Werewolf? In front of whom? Werewolf. Werewolf. <laughs> this is the surprise round. Great. No shit, it's a surprise round. What the fuck? <laughs> werewolf. That's how I'm from. Uh. <laughs> uh. What you gonna do? I am what not very good with these animals. Uh, Just warning. That guys. is not an animal. <laughs> Alright. That is not an animal. The second one. The second one. Woohoo! <laughs> wow! We're so dead. I'm so happy. New characters, anyway? <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> I might like roll well, on. I really hit everyone. <laughs> then I'm I promise. screwed. I'm still level one. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who is this? This That's is me. him. That's him. That's the wolf is in front of you. That's yep. uh, All right. Uh, Volea. Does a 19 hit you? What's your AC? What's your AC? So this is your AC, your armor class. Yeah. And if anybody wants to make an attack against you, they have to roll higher than that number. That or higher. So right. that hits you. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, roll a 20. Does that hit you? Uh, yeah, what's so it? 16? 16. 16. Yeah, yeah so it the one hurts them. Yeah, to get, yeah. To get, to get the idea. Can I check spell? Yeah. 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 Which one? Uh, which yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. After that, I. I, I that, he hits. Yeah. If no, he misses. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. No, just, I was just wondering if there's any modifiers or anything. No. Nah. Just that. No. Right. Cool. So he was asking, does a 19 hit me? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it does. All yeah, right. I thought you were going to hit me. So <laughs> <laughs> He was like, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, dude. <laughs> Fine. I'm sorry. Yeah, so okay. so uh, my, my perception was high. And I have dark vision. Yeah. I have 60, yeah. 60 feet. feet around. So I started looking around. Can I see anything else around? On your turn, 
we'll see. Oh, okay. On my, on my turn. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so that one hits you. It, it goes with... Oh, so it's their turn now. So this oh. little foxy h- hits me. <laughs> that... That's that, a... That's the mini-me I'm using for... Okay. So actually, no, you know what? I'm going to make this guy the one that hits you. Oi! <laughs> So it jumps out of the shadows, out of the bushes right behind you, and you you look surprised at how how small (laughs) this kind of bush could hold this giant form. It jumps out at you, slashes one claw at you, (coughs) that hits you, and slashes another claw, 15 plus 17, does 17 hit you? Yes. So as it's coming down, it slashes down your back with one claw, and as it lands, it kind of gives a sideways uppercut and claws you on that side, and you take two, four... Jeez. Four plus two, you take six damage. Six slashing damage. That's half my health. Okay. This is bad. As you say in your language. No, yes. <laughs> yes. Is it a buff below it? Yeah, you put, you put your ah. remaining here. That's all your right. maximum at all, all times. Right. Yeah. So let the max health be like that itself, and right. you put the remaining health in the bottom. All right, all right. Okay, so that's... Six? Jeez. Hmm. Hmm. Harvest, it is your turn. Okay. As you see yeah. your compatriots being attacked, you <laughs> yourself will be one nice. of them. One, of, <laughs> one wolf just took down half of your companion's power. What do you okay. want to do? Okay, so I'm clearly tense. I'm not very familiar with these battles. Yeah. Um, I'm not a fighter. So I start... My skin starts to heat up. And I'm preparing for anything at this point. And I look around me. Can I see anything? Uh, give me a perception check. I should have done stuff like that. Two. Ugh. You don't see anything else. You just see from the tense of the moment and the shock that you just got. Mm. And it's very, very strange giant characters st- still right. standing in front of you, not moving around. You just don't see anything else. All right. I walk towards her Mm -hmm. and try to protect her. Okay, here's the thing. If you have an enemy against you, uh, beside you, and you move away from it, that enemy gets something called an attack of opportunity. It Ah. means it can attack you while you're moving away as a reaction. Okay, okay. okay. So do you want to risk that? And by the way, she is standing right next to you. Oh, okay, okay. And you can see the werewolf that just hit her. You think? He just got engaged into the... Okay. Yeah. What do you want to do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Werewolves, werewolves. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they... Hey, Volia, you're Piglet up. Piglet you're comes up. for you. I'll, I'll slash, risk... Slash your you're up next after him, so prepare yourself. I'll, I'll I, risk... I am prepared. I'll, uh, okay. In that case, I, no- I, n- I notice that they're going to... That he has his eyes on me. So I make a move. Expecting him to react. Who? The wolf. The wolf. Right? The wolf in front of me. So, you, you want to you want an attack of opportunity. Yes. So you you want to move away from him. Yeah. Okay. Does a seventeen hit you? Probably it destroys. Them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right now. Yeah, you take attack. four he's damage. damage. So he's doing a hit. Okay. So he's done the hit. I take it as a reaction. Oh, sorry, three damage. I have a reaction. What is it? Hellish rebuke, oh. and I burst in flames. Okay. Okay. Just, uh, can you read it for us, please? All right. Um, I was actually right on it. And then I change the page. Great. He has an affinity to fire. How come he doesn't smell like sulfur? You don't know. Why don't you ask me? Because now I saw him burst into flames. Like, what the fuck? It's, a, it's a reaction after getting damaged anyways. Uh, so you take three damage. Um, okay. Three slashing damage. Um, <laughs> I read it now. Okay. Um, okay. So a creature must make a dex saving throw. It takes 2d10 fire damage on a fail save or half as much on a successful one. Okay. So one more time. Uh, and uh, the spell save DC would be 8 plus 2 plus... Yeah. The spell save DC is... 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your charisma modifier. Which so it just tells me your spell save DC. What's your charisma modifier? 5. So it's 15. 15? 8 plus 2 plus 1. Five. No, it's 3. 
Char- oh, charisma, yeah. This is right, three. So your DC is 13. 13. Okay. The werewolf crit. That's the werewolf crit. Yeah, so... So the crit is a natural 20. When you only get a 20, it means it's a mass- It's a critical success. Oh my god. I don't Double have to damage. add anything, this is... It just... So he just takes half damage. Half damage. What is it? 2d10 fire damage. Uh, roll 2d10. Please roll 2d10. No, no, that's a d20. No, oh, D10, D10. I got a D10. It's this one? Yes. Uh, and this one. Ignore the zeros on this and just roll. Okay. So both. Both. Roll both. <laughs> oh, that's a 10. 5? That's a 9. Oh. No, that's a 6. That's a 6. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a 6. Uh, so it's 16, so half of that is 8. 8. Yes. Okay. So wait, what happened? You just got to... So, when so here's what happened. Um, you okay. tried to move away from the, from the werewolf. Okay. Um, he jumped at me. As you're moving away, he kind of lunges forward and slashes at you. That did hit you, unfortunately. It did catch the back of your... your leg. I want to say calf, but it's a hoof calf. Mm-hmm. And it kind of does slash you. And as you do that, as the, the first nail kind of pierces in, your entire body is just in mm-hmm. engulfed in flame. This flame kind of pushed the werewolf back. And his entire fur hand, the hand on his fur caught fire, and he, he's now just cowering inside. And then he shreds it off. And what was the double damage thing? No, that's the stick. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I'll, I'll explain to him later. Okay. And then after that, he, he keeps his eye. He goes <coughs> down low and keeps his eye on you. Okay. But, okay, so do I roll a perception roll here to notice if he's scared? He's not scared. He's angrier. Yeah, and yeah. you did this on the werewolf or on the old man? On the werewolf. Werewolf. The werewolf that fell in front of him. That's so your one stats one down. Um, yeah. Yay! So that was your your movement and your reaction. Yeah. You still have an action. That was my movement. And your and reaction. And I have an action. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Cast if I do it, you can get further. And the both of I, so he moved. I don't. So we've got attack opportunity. Yeah, okay. uh, uh, offensive yeah. spells, yes. Uh, okay. okay. You don't have you a weapon. Attack you attack a weapon. Oh, I have weapons. True. Ah. But you would need to get back closer. <laughs> which I actually be... forgot. No, I don't. Zubair, can I ask you for something real quick? So what do you want to do? <sighs> oh. Um. Shit. That was on the. That was on the thing. I have a monster hunter pack, or is it no? No, Either. that doesn't have anything. I'll tell you what it is. I have a Monster Hunter spell. Yeah, so do I. It doesn't okay. have anything. Nothing that can help? Monster Hunter Maybe. Pack. I don't think what does the Monster Hunter pack have? Yeah, well, yeah just, just what does rope, it have? Rope, um, uh, uh, thing to put into the stone did, to climb. You um, have a rations, crowbar, a hammer, a three wooden stakes, a holy symbol, a flask of holy water, three set of manacles, a steel mirror, holy a flask of oil, a tinderbox, three torches, Torches. That's all you have in the Martian You don't have manipulation spell or something? Uh, I'm not on werewolves. I do, but do werewolves listen? I haven't tried. They're humanoid, right? I haven't tried. Uh, I'm saying actually, I'm sorry. So what do you want to do? All right. Oh, I mirror him. <laughs> this is how I you look. <laughs> so, sorry, would <laughs> charm person work on a werewolf? Really? What do you know? Yeah, <laughs> Can I cast <laughs> friendship on werewolves? It's weird. Okay. You want to cast friendship on the It's ridiculous. It doesn't sound like it's going to work at all. What does friendship do? Ooh! Okay, ah, I used my spell slot. Stupid. Yeah, one more. No? Yeah, two. What? Do I? Yeah. I think it was one. You yeah, have two, one right? is one. I'm pretty sure. Pick a with two. Because he has two. But I, I remember some... marking down two. What is he? We don't know. Uh, one look. Uh, one or two? One. I wish I, wish well, I, I had food going on. Huh? I wish I had food. What do you want to do? I should have made a better move. Well, I risk on the fire. Alright. I will... Hit the, hit the fire. Light up a torch. Okay, and that's your action. Thank you. And uh, can I wave it? No? Next turn. Okay, so I just... Because you have to take it out, you have to light it. That's an action. Okay. So basically, one round. Each one of you acting, that whole round is six seconds. In six seconds, all of you are acting together. So he's oh, used okay. up his bonus action? Uh, he moved, he reacted, and he, he used his action. Reacted? Uh, he, when he moved, yeah. he got attack of opportunity. But that means he still has a bonus action left. Yeah, if you, do you want to use a bonus action? 
So if he does, what's a bonus action? It's a really small action. Yeah. So if he wouldn't, if you have something wouldn't you taking want to out the, the torch yeah, be bonus, bonus action? action? No, because he has to take it out of the pack and then light it. Oh, cantrips are uh, okay. bonus. Some action? cantrips are bonus. Uh, they should be mentioned under the pack. I don't think you have Shit, any bonus. Dude, I don't I'm think so you have any bonus action. No. If you do have a Bulea. Bulea. You are up. What do you want to do? You just saw. What did he do? Is that a lot? He did nothing. What he took out a torch and lit it. <laughs> it's true. Does the only extreme. All right. Is there anything else that I should be doing? Sorry. It's the first know. time. I don't know. No, 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 it's fine. By the way, she got attacked. Yeah, I got attacked and I got hit and I got Can half my health. Uh, oh, it was half because of your. Half. Yeah, okay, fine. Half. All right. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, I okay. turn around. All right. And I attack this little fucker. Go for it. All right. What are you? What are you my, uh, with? Uh, I was ready. I had my uh, uh, staff, the uh, flail in hand, oh, yeah. right. and uh, I uh, just completely swing at it you at its it, head. Make an attack roll. What did you hit? Uh, no. Uh, what is it? It's plus what for? for plus your attack. Plus my. Half? No, plus five to attack. No, no. Wait. Where's your weapons? You didn't write it down? She wrote but I did, I did plus did five to Yeah, plus five. Yeah. So, so that's, fine. that's a nine. That Drop. does not hit. Your flailing maze just swings oh, right above the head of the, no. the werewolf. They're no, fast wolves. No, no. Do you want to move? Um, you still have a movement. Okay. And a bonus. You are injured. But she doesn't have any bonus. You don't have potions, you don't have any. I, I, I'll allow RP bonus actions, but you guys don't really have any bonus no. action stuff. Mm-hmm. What's an RP bonus? Like you if you want to yell, them. if you want to... Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, like any role playing thing that could happen in just like less than a second. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Shit. I thought you didn't have that. All right. I. Uh, I you, you're up That's like my last option. My action is, is to. Uh, you already used your action. You have no, my, movement. my movement and. and or bonus action. Is it unsheathing a weapon uh, an action? I'll use it as a bonus action. That's fine. All right, so I'm just gonna unsheath my so sword. You, so you drop your mace. No, no, I hold it in one hand and the sword in the other. And this is a great sword. A long sword. It can be one hand and two handed. All right, and that's your turn. And depend, depend. That that defines how I. Yeah. Yeah. How you want. So now I have to. Right. And that's your turn. You. Crap. Sheet. What do you want to do? Is there one that looks bigger than the other? They look fairly the same size. Fairly same. Okay, I will. No, uh, which so bolt? The one fighting so Harvest. All right. Make so your it's a range attack? Yeah. So you're up? Yeah, up, half movement. Seven plus five is a 12. That hits. So 1d12. Concentration continues. Uh, even me, I, I, I got a four. <laughs> I might as well move. Come on, baby. So, plus uh, anything? What are you hitting it with? 1d12. It's a spell? Okay. okay. It's continuous. Now I don't uh, have to cast anything. Okay, so 7 total. Nice, awesome. So it's going to take damage. 7? So I'm guessing. It's continuous. Uh, I don't have to cast it. Yeah, to block block you already know about that. Yeah. Yeah. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So. Do you want to move? Do you want to use bonus, uh, bonus action? Oh, I would get at the limit of the spell. What are you doing? Uh, I, my limit, uh, the spell doing? limit is 30. I would get like 25 feet. So, so five, the attack range. Okay, so you want to move? That, this is That's him. Oh, the cape. He hit so, it for how much damage? Seven. Seven, good. Right. 25 feet. What do you do? I will give uh, him five feet yeah. margin. Fireball? Oh. All right. Bolt. All right. Oh, I will which cast move? which ball? Uh, which ball? Wait, oh, but yeah. how far is this one from me then? Are you a That one. Uh, that's Ooh, about that's ten feet. feet. Okay, so I'll move to him. But I think so. Oh, right. so you're that guy. So yeah, yeah, five, ten. Ten. yeah. You're, you're yeah. in range. You can okay. yeah. I move. I move to it. Uh-huh. I attack it, and I also try to do my cantrip of um, the whip. Wait, wait, wait. If I attack the thorn whip. Okay. Because thorn whip is, you create a long wine like whip covered in thorns that lashes out at your command towards a creature in range. Make a melee spell attack against mm-hmm. the target. Yeah. Okay. If the attack hits, the creature takes 1d6 piercing. Mm-hmm. And if the creature is larger or smaller, you pull it up 10 feet. So I'll go about here. Yeah. To try to hit it first, pull it up. So 
It's a spell attack. Maybe so I have a plus attack, five. So it's it's a spell is plus five attack. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll do the spell Go attack. Where is it? What is that? It's a is seven. Is that what I think it's it is? It's a seven. <laughs> All right. Excellento. So. Excellent. Is that a one? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Now, who is asking what happens with ones? You are, right? Mm. All right. So. You are the one. Oh my you, god, what's wrong with us? You see all this happening on your right side. You turn <laughs> around oh. and you start running, and all you can think about is why no feet? Why no feet? <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> and as oh you were doing god, that, no. <laughs> you were pulling from an invisible yes. pocket dimension in your hand. You pull out this. Like giant whip of arcane magic, and as hit you're, your hand, yeah. and as you're, you, you're just about to hit it, you keep <laughs> and as it's going, <laughs> it wraps around your neck, <laughs> and you find yourself stumbling down, falling. Oh, okay, okay. so I'm prone. You are prone. Forward, pr- forward or backwards? Does forward. it really matter? Wow. Yes. You just <laughs> fell <laughs> <through>. <laughs> Wow, perfect. <laughs> okay, perfect. guys, I just want to make like a small interjection. I don't want to ease up on him, but. The thing is, he's my DM in the other game, so he's gonna kill the shit out of me in the next game. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for all of us. Oh, yes. He has been doing that every time we roll one. Yeah, so, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you deserve it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't been making it up. I've been working right. on a list. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> list right. of things that I'm gonna do to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And it's back to Harper's turn. Yeah. yeah. My turn. Oh, God. So, so I'm actually, actually attacking the one of It's the guy standing in front of the fire's turn. Yeah. yeah. And he's. It's Aladdin looking motherfucker. Yep. And he's just watching everything go on. He's big. And that's his turn. Mm. Your turn. <sighs> How far is he from me? Which guy? The guy in the... Uh... Yeah. He's asking your ladies? Who are around you? By well, way, he is a, uh, 10 right feet, but there's a wolf in front of you. Okay. And I'm attacking that wolf. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to uh, check something here. That's yeah, right. That's really, yeah. Yeah. Uh... You're up next. On deck. Be prepared. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. I forgot the other one was turn. It's fine. Okay. So. Yeah, this guy didn't do anything. That's my action. What are you doing? What so, are you doing? I'm going to cast front of him. On the friends. one I'm attacking? On the guy behind the wolf. Uh, okay. Um, okay. I thought you're friend zoning a werewolf. What's, what's, what does friend do? <laughs> okay. For the for the duration, you have advantage on all charisma checks directed at one creature of your choice that isn't hostile towards you. All right. Which I don't know still. Mm-hmm. When the spell ends, the creature realizes you use magic influence, its mood, and becomes hostile towards you. Whew. So, do you what want to cast friends? Mm. Yes, I do. All right. So no one told friends your life was what is your ever action? be this way. Another. <laughs> Another catch might seek retribution the other ways. Nah. So I cast it on him. Well, what, so what do you want to do? As you, is that an action or what does it say? It's an action. It's okay. one action. <laughs> you can use your bonus action to say something. To it, you can use your uh, your advantage on charisma checks. Mm-hmm. So you can try. You can say something now. Whatever you want. I have to choose my words wisely here. Indeed. The guy's looking at you, his face isn't menacing, but it's not cowering, it's very I'm going to say, I'm going to say the only thing that I remember from a very, very long time. Defend us. Straight to his face. Defend me. Me or us? Me. Make a persuasion check, with advantage. Advantage, advantage. You're so yeah, advantage. lucky, man. Oh my god, what's wrong with our role? 14. Wow. Persuasion. What? Are you proficient? No, no, don't just, is it oh, persuasion exactly. or? Persuasion. Yeah. Plus, plus three, right? Three. Plus three. three. 17. So, it's 17? Mm. <laughs> Please get persuaded. Okay. This is weird. I said. No! And as he says now, all the wolves, the two that are surrounding you, just fall to their sides. Hmm? I stop my spell of wisdom. And he... Can I say something now to them? Okay. And he moves back. <coughs> and 
as he's moving back, he left the pelts on the ground. As he's moving back, his form starts to get smaller, but not smaller in size. It's like parts of him are being shaved off and just turning into little particles in the air, turning into mist, into mist, and it's getting thicker and thicker until it's a giant wall of fog. And then suddenly you hear, everybody hears, now! And with that, the entire fog cloud engulfs everybody. And you are all incapacitated. What did you do? I don't know. I tried something. After a while, <coughs> the fogs clear out a little bit, and you find yourselves in a different place. Oh, right. it's, it's much colder. All right. And just as you throw your eyes out, you see an empty camp with only two tents left. Nobody else around. Not even a fireplace. And it's just you guys and two tents. And as you throw your gaze towards where the clearing ends, you find a road. A road that was grass and then sand <coughs> and then a little bit of dirt and then turns into cobble streets. Cobble streets? Which means? Sorry. Like, uh, you know the, the stone-laid mason work? The ah, street yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And you keep gazing your eyes, you find the fog dissipating, dissipating a little bit, dissipating a little bit, and you start to see a cityscape of very old Victorian rooftops, not unsimilar to this. Mm. Barovia, Barovia. What are you guys going to do? Well, I'm... I, I I'm bleeding. bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I suggest a wrong uh, rest. I need my spells back and you need to heal. Yeah. We need to I need to heal. How do you guys heal in this game? We'll get to that. We sleep. Yeah. Just, sleep. Yeah. Just sleep. There's yeah. no healing potions. Yeah. Well, There's healing potions, but yeah. Okay. If you sleep. Yeah. So what do you guys want? You want to sleep? In the tents. Yeah. In the tents. So so you guys want to kill tents. You start to hear in the background. <sighs> Howling. And as you look up, not that how it's not this one. What the f Not this one. <laughs> you are dead. As you get up, I'm sorry. You see what seems to be the first of three full moons. Mm. The first of three full moons? Yeah, because like in every m lunar cycle, each moon has three days. So okay. a full moon has three days, quarter yeah, moon Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. So, so it's one moon that's full. This is the first of the three full moons. Mm, okay. okay. I just like full moons. Perfect timing for werewolves. What did you guys think was th that was? Who was the man? I he did command the wolves, I think. I think it was the welcoming group. Hmm. So a smart way to say it. Could it be the prince? I doubt it. The prince would be much more powerful than that. Dead. Much more dead. Most probably. Maybe yeah. it's someone who has implemented this curse. Because it's he could only us the four fog. left. That's only for you only guys. Only the four of us. Nobody else is around. There's no sleeping, I guess. Yeah. And you guys are about, let's say, um, sixty feet away from. The, the beginning of the Cobble Street Road. Where, where is the... Uh, do you guys want to rest the night or do you want to enter? I I'd, I'd rather we go inside. I don't want to stay out. I don't want yeah. to go inside without spells. And with her half dead. And I believe those stunts were not put here by... Uh, do you have any medication? By any potions? I believe a good night of sleep will be more than enough for her. We there can set up tents. watch. Yeah. Can, can you guys st stay? Okay, so out of so everybody knows the mechanics. If you want to restore all your health, you have something called your hit die, right? How many hit die do you have? One. Each person has one hit die. That's when you level one. up, you get an extra hit die for each level. So let's say you are a D. What's your hit die? D10, right? Um, D10. D8. D10. Uh, top, top, top right. Remember hit dice? You wrote a number? Oh, yes, D10. All right. So this D10, if you're taking a long rest, you re regain all your HP automatically. If you're taking a short rest, you can roll one of 
the number of hit dice that you have, in this case just one, you roll that, and that number is how many hit points you get back. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll do that, a short rest. Short okay. rest is one hour, mm. a long rest is six hours. Mm. But in a short rest, you won't be able to get your spell slots, only you will. Yeah, only the warlock will. is the only one who gets spell slots back in a short rest. Yeah. Mm. That's what I was actually just checking. Cool. Yeah. If you guys are confident we can go, but I can't help much if we do that. That's great. A long rest would be six or eight. Eight. Six. six. And I believe it would be smarter to rest fully before entering the city. We may encounter more problems. Is it wrong? Yeah. Leave, leave. What do you guys want to do? I suggest we stay. I'm, I'm with you. If, sh- if we set guard. Yeah. All right, Caldo, can you take care of me? Yes, I will keep the first torch. Mm. I and frustratingly agree. No, I mean, can you tell one of the animals to guard us? How, how many times can you cast that? Uh, Isn't that the cast? I haven't cast it yet, right? The, the speaking one? Once per long rest. Right. So you cast it once with the owl already. Oh, so we're good. Oh, no, then that was the first day, then the second day, so this is like yeah, the third day. I haven't used it yet. All right. All right. Yeah, so I can. What do you want to cast it? I'd say we're a little bit owl. safer here. There are no owls here. Uh, do I see, obviously I see crows? You see a raven. Yeah, you yes. see a flock of ravens. A flock of ravens. A murder of crows. That's what they're called. Murder of crows. Just what did your, uh, what did our friend say about these crows in Barovia? He said that the <clears throat> legend has it that crows are the dead that no, never they... left. Strad. The souls of the dead that never left Strad. Uh, Strad. Barovia. Barovia. You really want me to speak to them? If it does not fog your mind... Can you tell them to keep watch? Let's first get information from them. Can I speak to them? Sure, go for it. Okay, I try to speak to one of the crows. What do you say? He says, hello, we are here in your land. (laughs) You hear heavy, heavy breathing. And then an insanely ear-piercing shriek of pain okay just echo through your mind and it just keeps on going and going and going and it's just screaming in pain so it's i start like yelling somebody is pouring acid down the back of a young child okay so i start screaming and then i just break the link it's still in your ears even after i break the yes. link oh crap okay i wish i had cast sleep. Sleep. Oh. <laughs> damn it and right now, you, you, you're just scratching at your head. You're okay. actually injuring you yourself to get this out? out of your mind. Okay. You I out. try to knock him out. So you punch him? Yeah. Punch? Really? You have to roll. No, I would, act, I would well, distract attack him. Roll, yeah? <laughs> but I distract him to give her an advantage. Okay. He's, he's not listening to he's just No, no, no I'm just going to try and knock him out. Okay. I could... Uh, you want to roll him out? 14. Yeah, Plus. you hit... Plus, uh, uh, we're good. what am I plusing? I forget. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It'll be it'll be one. It's plus your strength. Ah, three. So that'd be uh, seventeen. Uh, seventeen. Roll math. Yeah, it's only yeah, it's one d four divided by strength. two. Just adds strength. Yeah, one d four divided by two. Oh. Roll one d four. The point you wouldn't be hurt, right? This one. Yeah. Okay. Roll it, and whatever you get divided by two and roll up. You, yeah. by three. So it's, so one. it's three. no, it's four and three is and two, and one and two is one. So you get two points. Two points. So that's oh, what, it's a three. Oh yeah, it's a four. Three plus one. Yeah. Okay. So it's, you get uh, three points. Two points. Two points oh. of bare knuckle fist in your face. Two points of damage. And am I knocked out or I'm still uh, conscious? What's your HP? Okay, so I'm still conscious. <laughs> and he's yeah, just he's hearing gone. screaming yeah. and shrieking in his mind, and then you. That one raven you were talking to is still standing there just looking at you uh-huh. with its dark black soulless eyes. Okay. As the entire the rest raven. of the murder of the crows come flocking behind it and just land on the same branch. <clears throat> and now your vision is obscured with nothing but crows. And they're all looking at you. And now you start hearing even more screams. Males, females, animals. Can I even cast anything? People you're just noise. you're you this you're trying to get everything he's incap- mm. you're inca- incapacitated. I'm incapacitated nothing you're okay. just trying to get these oh. so much death and so much horror going on through your brain okay i will use mage hunt mm-hmm. to grab the crow okay and get it to uh to uh Vulea. 
Okay. Decapitate this shit. Go for it. He does that. I take my long sword and I slash at its head. Make an attack roll. It's a bird. It's that big. She might get a one. She would I cut his it. hand off. What uh, is it? 10 plus the 13. No, oh, it's, far away. Far away. its head flies off. Mm-hmm. And as its head is flying off, so you cut it and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like a clean slice through, although your blade is very, very sharp. It kind of goes through and then... And as it's exploding into the mirror, there's no guts, no innards, no blood. Just some feathers kind of fly off and dark mist comes out of it. And the entire raven turns into dust, dust and fog. And as that's happening, your eyes are locked onto this fog in front of you. You feel this breeze coming in from the right. Did the yelling stop? Can I see something really quick? Can I say anything? We'll let Does the spell break when the caster yes, died? Then, yeah, that's yeah. not it's oh, okay. No. So you're okay? Yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. He's just insanely <coughs> horrified of what he just heard. I was hoping we could get crow for dinner, but that's off the table. Unless you want to eat crow dust. Crow dust. Can we speak to each other? Hold on a yet. second. I want to make that joke. No, no, I want to say it. But I've heard it. Fulea jokes. Fulea really? jokes. Like yeah, yeah. She's not your typical uh, stoic uh, fighter. Uh, g- Goliath. Uh, she's inquisitive. She's social. Brute. She's very uh, uh, rebellious against her nature. I guess my character likes it. Oh, okay. Someone else. You. I was gonna f- cast a fire bolt, but I thought a big sword would be Think better. of like a person you've met that is super competitive and just wants to do shit. That's her. Just do it. <coughs> like, let me do it, please. I don't want to sit here. I want to do it. That's her, you know. Mm-hmm. I want to start some shit. Let's start some shit. Mm-hmm. Like, usually they're very... Uh, uh, Goliaths are very, like... One with nature and uh, they're stoic and calm and very giant mm. in their mannerisms, but she's okay. So she doesn't get along with him, the calm one. No, she doesn't. Not she understands him, but no, she's not of course, like, no, I yeah, don't yeah. mean they fight. Yeah, yeah, but I mean but their she's natures. Different. Yeah, she's different. So you hear this when what I just said? Hey Allah, that. man, you say it so low. I know. Um, <laughs> and as this raven dies, you find the entire murder of crows turn their gaze from him to you. And they just stop there. And their eyes are pulsating. They have black eyes, but you can still feel they're pulsating. One of them kind of gives a a shiver off, a feather falls off. There's just cold, dead eyes staring at you. Uh, Should we, uh, I think we should go sleep. We're in no way able to travel. What's the, um, I don't think we can sleep here with all these ravens staring at me. I don't think they will attack us if we enter the tent. The tents are here for a reason. I suggest we check the tent. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. I'm not gonna check the tents, I'm gonna stay here and keep my eye on the ravens in case they make a move. Otherwise, they might. Mm, are you, is he in state to be like moving us? He's gathered himself, he's just shook, shook it up a bit. Uh, he's yeah. just very, very. Weirded out that his entire life was dedicated to nature and animals and being in one with them, and he finds all this horridness poured towards him. I would say, Caldo, those were just some bad spirits. Could you please check the tent so we can go rest? You need to get the back. Guys, guys, we can talk about mechanics later. Okay. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So, those are just some bad spirits. Could you please check the tents? We need to rest. Check the tents? I think you have higher perception than me. I'll go check, go check the, the tents. tents. What is it? What's wrong with us? Uh, eight. Oh, Just eight? Eight. We're yeah. under the Five plus three, eight. You, you can't open the, the tent knots. <laughs> You're kind of fiddling around, you can't eat. Because oh, the tents are kind of... Like with the eight. Not at <laughs> you can't. He's just like... <laughs> with this if, giant If you roll the one, you'd have suffocated. This is not working, yeah. and I take out my... Uh, well, I should have a staff, I can't even stab it. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I start bashing it with my staff. <laughs> open this! Start bashing the, the tent one, door with a staff. Vulia, could you please open the tent for him? I go check the tent. 
roll a perception. <clears throat> Ah, oh, just a little bit next to it. Twelve. That's oh God. Plus, uh, plus uh, four. Four, sixteen. So you look at Caldo. You kind of pat him on the shoulder. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, the bird's still there. Yeah, they're still looking at it. It's okay, buddy. I got it. She undoes the ties for the tent door, opens it up, and you find two very well-made beds, as well as they can be made out in the, in the camp in the forest. Okay. I would be like, good night, and I go to the other tent. To the other tent? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you Perception want to check the check. other tent, buddy? I will not percept. Like, uh, for me, it's the same. Like, uh, I, my character strongly believes it's going to be the same thing. Okay, <clears throat> so you enter the tent. I could perceive it by no, no, uh, default if you want. If you, no, no. You open the thing and you go inside. Yeah, I go sleep. Okay. Because they were checking the tent. That's why I made them roll perception. Right. Yeah, that's But right. if you're just going in, you're going yeah. in. I saw that one was normal, so I directly went to the other. All right. Yeah. So you go in. And you go to sleep. I go sleep. Alright. What do you then do? I go in. I can I like just RP I bandage my gashing wound. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. there's a mechanic for that, I'll let All you right. know about it, yeah. Alright. And I take my book out and I place it next to me, as I always do for I sleep. And I sleep. Okay. I follow I'm gonna him. get screwed from that, okay. I know. I follow I know him and I also I see he's sleeping, he's calm, so I also No actually He's already asleep or is he... W- are he you just went into sleep. He just went into sleep. So, should I still keep watch? Or... Mm. I'm not feeling that well after what just happened. Yeah, you we're did, injured. We you're really interested. I, w- I do not think so we need to keep watch. Okay. Just so, okay. I harvest. What harvest do do? I ask Harvest, I think you are the least injured. So, you should take a small rest and keep watch. So, he rests for an hour and then... I think I can, I can do that. So you're all gonna sleep for the first hour, and then he's gonna wake up and yeah. take. I'm. I'm no, gonna, no. He stays up and sleeps I'd, the last hour. I'd oh. rather stay up a bit. I'm not in my right state of mind. I don't, as if, as okay. Well. I will not keep watch. Okay. My characters have been distraught from what happened earlier. Yeah. But you will keep watch, yeah. 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 Okay. So, half an hour passes by. You guys are fast asleep. Oh and you, low perception. Oh god. Roll perception with advantage because you're actually up to, to keep watch. Okay. That's wrong. That's, no, that's not it. Please just burn that. <laughs> burn that stupid blue die. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Two. Yeah, oh, with, okay. advantage. Okay. Oh, with advantage. Oh, with advantage. Yeah. Oh, no, that was D12, I think. Yeah. Was yeah, that 15? 15. 15. Plus? Nothing? Plus, I don't have any perception. Wisdom? That's one. Oh, wisdom, wisdom. okay. Plus one. So? Sixteen. Okay. So as you're sitting there, there's no campfire, and the entire <coughs> forest that you guys are in is lit only by the pale, colorless color of the moon. What's your dark vision? Sixty feet? Sixty feet. All right. So you can see the very beginning edge of the arch that is built right on top where the beginning of the cobble streets begin into the city. Mm-hmm. And on this arch, it's very metally and it's it's not filled up and it looks more like a cemetery's entrance and there's a giant bee etched into the top of the arch okay. and as you gaze down you see the cityscape just tiny little homes and mist going all over it and there's a little bit of light from the, from the moon and it's backlighting something that seems to be like two figures in the entrance. One is taller than the other. Okay. And one seems to be holding something in its hand. You keep concentrating and you hear the ravens who look behind you are still there and now they're looking at them. Hmm. Okay. So what do you do? That's that's what it ends. That's what you see. Okay. What do you do? And they're just standing there. Every once in a while, you'll find the taller figure do this, and then come back. So I didn't fully understand. These guys are in front of the gate, or are they behind? Okay. It, or are they inside the city? So the tents are behind you. Yes. The opening. Yes. And then, and then, the then there's this. And then there's a, a road that kind of goes from grass to dirt 
uh, kind of dirt road to yeah. the cobble streets. And the cobble streets begin right at the arch, and they are standing right after the arch. Okay, so they're there, and then there's the houses in the background, and the mist taking over the houses. Yeah, but it's, it's not like the kind of fog that you see behind you, right behind you. Mm. It's more of just like night mist. Okay. Yeah, no. What do you do? What do you do? What do I do? Okay, sorry. One second. Sorry, does that actually count as short rest for him? No, half an hour. He didn't he wasn't resting. He has to sleep for an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't lose anything. So. Oh, he actually lost the. Uh, do you first keep level looking spells. at them or do you oh. look away? What, what yeah. are you doing? I, I, I keep looking at them. Okay. I actually. I'm a little worried about the houses behind them because there's the mist over there and they're a little safer with the mist. They're standing, you can see the mist kind of going through them and coming back. And, mm. and they're just standing they're there just standing and they have something. They're holding something in their hand. One of them is. The shorter one is. Okay. Um, they're, which, which, just, they're just in front of which of tent am I? You, the, behind you is the two tents looking this way. Okay. And they are just at the edge of your 60 foot dark vision. So they're pretty far away. They're at, they're at 65 feet. Okay. And the gate is around 50 feet away from you. So you could move closer to see what's going on, or you could, I mean, whatever you want to do. I walk, if they're at 65, I walk about 10 feet forward. So as you walk, try to get a better view. As you're walking forward, the mist kind of, just wave after wave, a very slow, tiny mist goes around. It doesn't seem to be doing anything to them. And as you're getting closer, you see that these figures they're actually very small, and one of them is wearing something like a skirt with off his shoulders, and the other one seems to have his feet kind of inclined inwards, and what he's holding in his hand turns out to be a very small teddy bear. And then you hear... And very, very faint little crying of a little boy. Mm. Internet's gonna hate you if you don't do anything. It's not about. And we will end the session there. It's. Nice. Ah! <laughs> nice. Seriously, man! You throw in a situation like this with my character. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys. That was very a, nice. That was oh, amazing. Was cool. oh. was <laughs> Excellent. Oh. By the way, I it was that on purpose. Really? I just, <laughs> I just pressed because of the book.